Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing the Instagram Picks My Makeup challenge. I think it's a challenge or a tag or whatever. I don't really know. But I did do this on my Instagram page. In case you don't follow me there, you totally should. It's just at the Bailey Lane. And I do mostly just like makeup pictures. So if you're into that, you should totally follow me. Um, and I'm on Instagram stories kind of a lot. Not too much like enough and I saw a lot of people do this video and I thought it'd be really really fun so the way I went about doing this Instagram challenge is I wanted it to be a little bit more random versus picking stuff that you know you guys have seen time and time again so I wanted to, to be a little bit more of a surprise so I opened up each drawer and went to each category of makeup I looked away and I picked two things and then you guys have voted on them some things I haven't used in a while so I thought it was kind of fun and different um, even though I think did Casey Holmes do it this way maybe anyways um, so if you like this video let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already because that would be the polite thing to do um, and we will just go ahead and get started all right so I'm first going to start with the eyeshadow because I think I want to do more of a smoky look I already primed my lids and the eyeshadow palettes that y'all chose between was first the Juvia's Place Nubian palette or Urban Decay Naked 3 and this one was actually really close and Juvia's Place won by 1% it was 51 to 49 so that's what we're gonna go with and I do love my Juvia's Place Nubian palette I also have the Sahara palette that one's also very pretty but this one's a really good neutrals palette and I want to say it's like 20 bucks online which I think is a very good price especially because like the Urban Decay one's like 50 and I think this one's better so just saying now the one bad thing about this palette is I don't think it has names for the actual eyeshadows so the first one I'm going to use is this one right here it is just a matte medium tone and I'm just going to use this for my crease and I'm just going to build this in the crease Again, I want it to be a little bit smokier, so I'm going to go pretty far out, which is okay because, you know, if you're doing your eyeshadow first, you can always clean up later. You don't mess up anything else, and it makes it look like you're very precise once the whole look is done. Okay, next I'm going to take this shade right here, which is a darker matte, kind of like a chocolate brown. Nothing super exciting, but it is a little bit darker. I'm going to take that with a slightly smaller fluffy brush and just put that a little bit lower into the crease just to help with the blending and also, you know, to add a little bit of smokiness to it. All right, next I'm going to go in with the darkest matte shade of the palette. It's kind of like a smoky gray black, and I think it's something really cool. And I'm going to take that with a flat shader brush and just pop this in the outer corner, just so, and then we'll do a little bit of blending later. And for the lid, I'm just gonna take my fingertips and go in with this beautiful metallic kind of copper shade, and I'm just going to pack that on. The shade is seriously so pretty. There's a little bit of fallout though, so just be wary of that. And also, if you have like longish nails, this is kind of hard. Not gonna lie. Now I'm gonna go back in with the dark shade that we just used with that same flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit because I did cover it up a smidge. So you just wanna make sure that color is still there and is still popping. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the shade right here, a light, kind of, you know, basic kind of shimmery beige. And I'm just gonna take that on my inner corner just to try and blend a little bit better that bronze copper into my actual skin. And I think that's good for now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all of the fallout, cause there definitely is some. I guess that's the one negative but it's an easy enough cleanup job. And clean up the edges a little bit. And voila! So, okay, moving on to face primers. The two options y'all could have voted on were first the um, Amazing Cosmetics Glow Primer or the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cool Mattifying Primer, which I haven't used in forever. And the majority was definitely the Too Faced, so that's what we're going to be using today. It's like 74, 75%, so clearly you guys wanted me to use this. And I haven't used this in, honestly, a while, so we'll see how it goes. I forgot how actually cooling it is. 
So that's actually, it feels kind of nice because it's getting pretty hot down here. So I'm just going to rub that in. You know, I really should start using this more since it's becoming summer. My skin does get a little bit oilier in the summer and this just feels so nice and cooling. So for foundation, this one kind of surprised me. So the two choices were the um, Bye Bye Foundation from It Cosmetics versus the Giorgio Armani Face Fabric. And I thought y'all were going to be more curious about the Giorgio Armani, but no, 66% of y'all wanted to see the Too Faced. So, or not Too Faced, It Cosmetics, bless it. So this is just their Bye Bye Foundation. I think I did a review on this. Um, I know I did one on my blog, but I'm pretty sure I did one on YouTube too. Um, so if you want to see a more like in-depth look at what I think about this foundation, definitely go check that out. But I do think it's pretty good. Um, I don't think it has more coverage. Actually, I definitely don't think it has more coverage than the CC cream. To me, that one definitely is a little bit more like oily girl skin friendly because there's a little bit more coverage. It has a little bit more of like a demi matte, but still skin like finish. This one definitely has a glowy finish. Like, it definitely looks like your skin is hydrated, hence the whole, like, it's a tinted moisturizer, both coverage kind of thing. So if you're into the dewy look, I think you would like it. But if you're not and you want a little bit more coverage, this one might not be for you. And I'm just going to add a little bit more right here because uh, the concealer y'all selected for me doesn't have the best coverage. So I need just a little bit more just to overcompensate, you know? So moving on to concealer, this was also pretty close. Y'all chose between the Stroke Beauty Concealer or the Paracone MD No Concealer Concealer and 53% of y'all went with the Paracone MD and hence the name No Concealer Concealer. This one definitely does not have a ton of coverage. Also smelling a little funny, so I'm glad I'm putting this on my face, but I'm just going to add more than I typically would for just like the daily and just blend it out with the beauty blender. This one is definitely very, very natural. I think it is more brightening than anything. Um, so if you're into, you know, obviously the whole no makeup makeup look, Paracone MD has a ton of products. They have the no foundation foundation, the no blush blush, no... I think they even have a no mascara mascara, which I don't see the point of that one. Can't say I own it, but clearly it's for somebody. I'm gonna add just a little bit more to my inner corner, just because that's where the most darkness is. Um, I will say though, if memory serves me right, probably the biggest problem with this concealer is I don't think they actually have a shade range. I think it's just like one color per category and either like you fit it or you don't. So that's a little archaic, but I'm sure they're working on it, right? All right, so I think that looks fine. So let's move on to powder just to set the face. And the choices in powder were either the Stellar Powder or the Glossier Wowder. And 77% chose Wowder, which I am okay with because I love this powder. The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is like the little dippy bit in the middle because I like to put powder in my lid and then get it that way but hey we'll make it work we'll make it work whenever i use this brush i always get a lot of questions on what brush it is and it's just like an it cosmetics brush that i got in a kit it says it's their airbrush powder brush so in case you were wondering um but like i said i do really like this wowder stuff i'm actually getting a package from glossier today with their new lid star like liquid shadow thing and their new mascara which i'm super curious about and i think it's so cool that in all of their like advertising campaigns and stuff for the mascara none of it's been photoshopped like it actually looks like lashes like you know what you're gonna get when you use this product or at least that's what it seems like to me so if you want to see a review of that let me know and we can totally do it because i'm super excited Okay, before we move on to anything else, I'm just going to deepen up the lower lash line a little bit using this brown right here in a fluffier pencil brush, just because we definitely need to add a little bit of something something. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the dark shade that we used too. 
Okay, moving on to eyeliner, the choices were between a Stroke of Beauty pencil or this Pixie double-ended one. And this one won by a landslide, so it's 83%, so we're definitely going to use it. And what I like about this is that it has a felt tip liner on one side and then a cold liner on the other. It's a good two-in-one. So I'm first just going to do a little bit of liquid liner on the top lash line and then a little bit of the pencil on my bottom lash line slash waterline. Okay, so for mascara, the choices were between an Essence Mascara and the Tarte Tartlet Mascara. And Tarte won by a little bit, 57%. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Some of y'all might already know this mascara isn't necessarily, like, my favorite. I got it in a BoxyCharm. And I think it's fine. Like, it works. You know, it gets the job done. But for the price, I wouldn't buy it myself. Even though I think I have before. Just because I'm the biggest sucker when like a new mascara comes out, I'm like, ooh, it's supposed to be the new best. I gotta find out for myself. And usually I'm slightly disappointed, but you know, that's the name of the game, right? Now for brows, this one was also pretty close. The choice was between Wowder and my Too Faced Brownie pencil, but Too Faced won by 4%, so we are gonna go ahead and go in with this. I actually like this pencil a lot. If you're somebody with more full brows like myself, but you just need to do something quickly just to, you know, make them look a little bit more polished, this one's very good because it has such a wide tip and it smells like chocolate, so that's pretty nice. Now, if you're looking to be super precise with your brows, this is definitely not the pencil for you because uh, it's not precise at all. You just color in your brows, spoolie them out, and then you're good to go. Okay, moving on to bronzer. So the choices were the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer versus the new Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Bronze. And Urban Decay won by 8%. So we're going to go in with this one. Hopefully it's not too dark. I don't think it will be. Yeah, it definitely won't be. Um, but it is definitely a very warm bronzer. So actually, I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this brush. So if you are a little intimidated by like very warm bronzers, you might not be the biggest fan of this one. But this one isn't the most, like, intense bronzer in the entire world. It goes on, honestly, pretty sheer, which I like because it makes it that much easier to work with. And bronzer, I would much rather just build and get the color I want versus being stuck with a color that's too dark for me. Ooh. Next for blush, this one was also very, very close. The choices were between a Ciate London blush versus a MAC blush, and Ciate London won by 2%, so this is the one I'm using. It is in the shade Summer Love and has a lot of glow to it, which I think is perfect for summer. And I do really like this blush. And it's something different, you know, because it kind of has a marbling thing going on. It gives you a little bit of highlight, but also a little bit of color. Alright, now for highlighter. This poll was super, super close. The choices were between my Smashbox Spotlight Palette or my Milani Highlighter. And Smashbox won by a single percent, so basically like one vote. So we are going to go in with this one, which I haven't used in a while. So I'm going to go in with the boldest one, just because, you know, why not? We're filming videos today. And I really 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 love this this is the Casey Holmes little collab even though I think they still sell it just not with the special packaging but it is a really really good highlighter and if you want just something for every day just use either the first two those are really nice and then she also has a golden one if you have a little bit deeper a complexion or just like more of a golden glow I have that one as well because I am uh, obsessed and I wanted both so I got them both and I like them both all right, finally, for lips, the two options were either a ColourPop liquid lipstick in the shade Barracuda or this Dose of Color liquid lipstick in the shade Mondays. And Dose of Color won by 6%, which I'm not mad about because I do like these better than ColourPop. Just saying. Okay, everyone, so that is the completed look. 
picked out by Instagram and honestly I think you guys did an awesome job picking out the stuff. I think everything looks really really good. Happy with everything and I got to use some products I haven't used in a while which is always a good thing if you ask me and yeah I really really like it. I will say though the only I guess downside of doing it where it's kind of random is a lot of the stuff I own is more on the neutral side because that's what I wear on a more regular basis obviously. So maybe if you want to see another video similar to this but with me picking out more intentional kind of wilder options and so it'd be more of like a challenge I guess to put these things together and make a nice cohesive look. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see that but yeah that is everything for today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all!